everybody, it's Blade Johnson. I hope you're getting further faster in playing great stuff on your guitar. So today I'm really excited to show you how to play King of the Monsters by Razor X. Take a deep breath because it's gonna be a long session for today, but it will be worth the effort, I promise. You're gonna have string skipping, tapping, alternate picking, pull-offs, hammer-ons, so you got everything, it's just a lot of fun to play on the guitar, right? So let's get your guitar, tune the half step down, and let's gonna get started. So, I'm actually starting with an open A. I'm just gonna play the open A string and then go to the D and play three, two, open. So. Then I'm gonna play the second fret of the D and the third of the A. And again, go to the D string and play open D and second. Then I continue with the second part of the riff, which looks like this. Um, three on the A, two on the A, open A. Then go to the low E string and play three. So. And now I go back to the A and play open A, second, third. Okay, so it's basically just uh, the scale up you know, down and up again. And then I need to play the open D and A power chord. It's all down strokes because it's very slow and you want to have that certain kind of tone in your uh, when you're playing. Then comes the actual main riff part. So you play this, it's the same melody and the same notes but it's getting a lot faster and you need to do a lot of hammer-ons, pull-offs and you don't pick everything. Okay, you're starting with a downstroke on the open A string and then you do an upstroke on the third of the D and then you do a pull off to the second, a pull off to the open. And then another upstroke on the second fret of the D and a down on the third of the A. And then another upstroke on the open D string and a hammer on on the second of the D. Okay, and that's the first part of the main riff, so... And try to mute everything. By the way, I'm doing two upstrokes in a row, but this is working because I have two pull-offs in between, so I have enough time for my picking hand to, to be prepared for two upstrokes. And then I do another downstroke on the third of the A, an upstroke on the second and a pull off to the open. And then free of the low E, and then I do another upstroke on the open A, hammer on to the second, hammer on to the third. So, an open D and down on the A power chord. So, and all together. That's basically the main riff. So now I want to talk about the fill-in parts. So I'm playing an A power chord 
and then four times in a row I hit the open A as a bass. Again, down on the A power chord, and then just two times the open A. Again, A power chord, again, two times bass, and again, power chord. So, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two. Just gonna play the main riff again, and then comes another fill in, which looks like this. basically just three power chords. I'm having the G power chord here and I, I'm playing it like this so the third um, on the low E with my middle then I mute the A string then open D open G and um, three on the B and high E string so and then a D power chord Okay, so open A, open D, second of the B and third of the, I'm sorry, second of the G and third of the B. Then you slide basically to the fifth fret of the A, pl play downstroke and then uh, a hammer on to the seven and then you play um, C power chord in this position. So, okay, so it's five on the D, G and B string. And I'm adding a little bit of a vibrato to give it an extra flavor. Then you play the main riff again. Now comes the third fill in, which is probably the most challenging one. <laughs> Having the open A here, now go to the D string and play 7, pull off to 5, go to the A, 7, pull off to 5, and slide to the third of the A and do a pull off to the open. And then you go to the B, uh, to G string and play seven pull off to five, go to the D, seven pull off to five and go to the A, seven pull off to five. So, again slide to the third fret of the A string and then on the low E string you play five, three. So, and then I'm gonna play those four power chords starting on the E power chord and then just chromatically go up, okay? So E power chord, F power chord, F sharp, and G. And that's the first big part of the main riff. Now comes a repetition of the first part and all the fill-ins stay the same except the ending. So this pentatonic ending part looks like this in the second time. Okay, so it's a bit different the second time. Okay, so we have the same beginning. So we have this part. And now, instead of going to the G, I jump to the high E string and play five, okay? And then go to the B and play eight, pull off to five, go to the G, seven, pull off to five. So, and then go D, seven, pull off to five, A, seven, pull off to five, and so it looks like this. Slide into this position here and play C power chord and D power chord. And just repeat this two times, so. with a big A power chord, okay? And that's basically the whole main riff part. Okay, so I'm actually starting with this big A power chord, but that was the ending of the part before. And then you play five on the G and eight on the B. You play this three times. And I'm adding a little bit of vibrato here. So I wanna split this lick into two parts, okay? So 
We're starting on the 5th fret of the G, do a hammer on to the 7, pull off back to 5 and a slide to 4, okay? So... Now I'm staying in this position and I play 5 on the G and 7 on the G. Now I change to the B string and play 5, 8, 5. And now I go back to the G and play 7, 5, 4, 5, 7. Okay, so I'm just go down and up again. And now I go again to the B string and play 5, 8. Okay, so... That's basically the first part. And now comes the second part. I'm on the high E string. Play 5, 8. Okay. Go back to 5. And then do a hammer on to 8 and pull off back to 5. And then go to the B and play 8. Pull off to 5. And then again 8. Pull off to 5. Okay, so... And then I go to the G and play 7, pull off to 5, 7, 5, okay? Alright, all together. And then three times in a row a power chord. Okay? So all together. And now you go to this part here and you play 14 on the G, 17 on the B and high E string. Again three times. Then you go back to this part here, we had this before. And then you repeat this lick we just had before. So it's basically two times the same again. So I, I don't want to show you how to play this because you already know it's really 100% identical. Okay? Then A power chord and up to here. And then starts a whole other part. The string skipping part is basically not too challenging to play, but if you never ever play the string skipping lick, it might be quite difficult because you're gonna need to get used to the feeling of actually skipping one or more strings. I'm actually starting on the 10th fret of the G string with a downstroke, and then I'm gonna do a hammer on to 12, hammer on to 14, and then I'm jumping to the high E string and play an upstroke on the 10th fret of the, G, of the high E string. Now I go back to the G string and play 14, 12, 10, 12, 14. And go to the high E string and play 10, 12, 13. Then I go to the 12th fret of the high E string with a downstroke, do a hammer on to 13, pull off back to 12, pull off back to 10. Go to the G string and play 14, 10. Okay, that's the whole lick. You really need to be very careful with the picking, with the hammer-ons and the pull-offs. Be sure to always be outside. At the beginning we have a downstroke, two hammer-ons and then an upstroke when I cross the string, when I do the string skipping part. That's very important. So I'm outside this, you know, outside uh, the G and high E string. 
And then when I go back, it's all straight alternate picking. So down, up, down. And then you're always outside, except the ending part where I do this little That's of course hammer on pull of stuff. After this, I'm just gonna change with my index to the other shape, which is major, you know. I don't want to explain all of that part, all of those parts, because I think it would be a, a lot more confusing for you to get through. And I, I'm sure you already know how to to go further. So I want you to do this by yourself. The next one looks like this. last one and I'm not playing this hammer on pull thing I'm just stopping here now he's, he's kind of doing a slide and while he, he's doing the slide I'm, I'm gonna quickly change from holding my pick like that and putting it into my middle finger and that's the next part I'm starting in, in this position here and then he just he's just moving the lick up the scale up the A minor scale I'm in this position here so my fretboard hand with my index finger is on the fifth fret of the high E string but I'm not doing anything yet I'm just having this position here and now um, comes my tapping finger and I'm doing actually a hammer on on the seventh fret of the high E string a pull off to five and then a hammer on with my fretboard hand and then a hammer on on the eighth with my tapping finger and now I basically just go back so I'm doing a pull off from eight to seven and another pull off from seven to five all together I'm actually sliding with my index finger to the seventh fret of the high E string. I need to be here when I'm doing the down the hammer on with my tapping finger. Okay, because I'm now doing a hammer on on the A fret, a pull off to seven, a hammer on with my fretboard hand to the A fret of the high E string, and another hammer on with my tapping finger on the tenth. So And then I'm I'm gonna do a pull off again from 10 to 8 and from 8 to 7. All together. And now I'm I'm gonna combine those two parts and you see how it works. I slide to the A fret, the highest string. Okay? to be in the next position and now I'm doing a hammer on with my tapping finger on the 10th fret of the high string doing a pull off to 8 then a hammer on with my fretboard hand to 8 and with my tapping finger a hammer on on 12 and now pull off from 12 to 10 pull off from 10 to 8 okay then I'm moving to the next position so I'm with my index on the 10th fret of the high string and I'm doing now a, a hammer on with my tapping finger on 12, pull off to 10, and then with my fretboard hand hammer on to 12 with my tapping finger a hammer hammer on on 13. And again pull off to from 13 to 12, pull off from 12 to 10. All right? All together then again 12 and a high E string and then I'm gonna move up to the 22 fret uh, on a high E string and I'm gonna bend it uh, up to the 24th fret of the high E string
we're still in the A minor scale, so I'm starting in this three notes per string pentatonic position. So it's quite stretchy over here, a little bit. I'm starting here on the 15, ah, oh, sorry, on the 17th fret of the high E string with my middle finger. And then I'm gonna do a hammer on with my pinky to 20, pull off back to 17, pull off back to 15. Go to the B string, and now I'm just gonna um, gonna play six notes in the A minor scale. 18, 17, 15 on the B, and then go to the G and play 17, 16, 14. It's all alternate picking, so as you probably can imagine, I'm inside the strings. So this that's making it a lot more challenging. And after doing that, I'm actually just gonna play the same lick an octave lower. So far we have this. And now again, I'm gonna change into this position. Okay, and I'm starting again with my middle finger here, so on the 14, I'm playing the 14 fret of the G another time, but I'm changing the position. So 14, hammer on to 17, pull off back to 14, pull off back to 12. And you see it's getting already a lot more stretchier. Um, and then go to the D and play 15, 14, 12 and on the A, 15, 14, 12. I'm gonna jump to the D string and I'm gonna do the same lick one octave lower. Okay, I'm actually on the 7th fret of the D string and uh, with my index and now I do a hammer on to 10, pull off back to 7 and a slide to 5. <laughs> And now the same thing here, A minor, okay, so A string, it's uh, 875 and on the low E it's 875. And another slide to 3, but I like to do this with my middle instead of my index, okay? And I'm doing a pinch harmonic here to sound very mean and aggressive, okay, so... And then I'm gonna play this part. Okay, so basically a D power chord. And then um, I'm having my middle finger on the third fret of the A. And I'm just gonna go down to the second fret with my index. Okay, and then again the intro or main riff. So. You don't do a power chord yet, you just repeat it. So you just start again with open. And then you do the power chord. The whole part starts again. Part. Just play the open A string and then I'm gonna do a hammer on to three and a pull off back to the open. Now I play three on the low E and again open A. All together. Then I, I go to this position here, so I'm still in A minor scale and I'm gonna play. Okay, so um, 7, 8, 10 on the A string and 7 on the D and again open A. And now we're gonna do like um, a dead note, like, just like 
you know, just down, up, and I'm gonna mute with my fretboard hand to, to lock into the groove and to stay in the groove. And then I, I play this C power chord. Okay, so. Then I start again and I play the D power chord. Then again, F. Um, then comes this little pentatonic part, which is quite tricky, but let's kind of look at it. I'm starting on a low E string and I'm playing 5, 8, go to A and play 5, 7, go to, to D string and play 5, 7, so. Now I'm going to starting again, so 5, 8 on the low E, 5, 7 on the D. And uh, then comes a little different part. So, so far we have... Okay, and then I'm gonna play this. So basically I'm on the fifth string of the D, fifth of the D, and then I'm, I do a hammer onto seven, pull off back to five, seven on the A and five on the D again, okay? so. And now we're gonna have to roll my finger to the A again, to the fifth of the A. And then I hammer on to seven of the A. Okay? All together. And then I'm gonna repeat um, this just going up the pentatonic scale. So. I'm gonna finish this lick by going to the G and play five. Okay. And then the whole um, lick that we did before starts again, but this time you do the same pentatonic um, lick, but on E pentatonic. So up to the 12th fret of the low E string, okay? So 12, 15 on the low E, uh, 12, 14 on the A, 12, 14 on the D. Then again, starting again, 12 on the low E, 15, um, 12, 14 on the A. And then comes this little... So I'm here on the D string playing 12, Hammer on to 14, pull off back to 12, go to the A and play 14, and go back to the D and play 12. Rolling my finger, I'm rolling my finger to 12 of the A and hammer on to 14. And then do again this pentatonic uh, part. Again, the last one on the G, 12th fret. Okay? starting in this position I'm playing seven a string seven pull off to six and then I pick with my pinky seven uh, sorry nine to seven okay so and then I already go to the D so five on the D and back to the a nine so Okay, so far. And I'm picking this as well, but I'm inside the D and the A string, so. That's quite a challenge. And then um, I'm actually in this position on the D string. So again, I'm doing a pull off because now I'm in the new position. Seven on the D with my fourth pull off to five. And then nine to seven, okay? So far we got. Then 
then I go to the G with my index and play 5, go back to the D and play 9. And again, I'm inside the strings. And then we have this chromatic part here on the G. 6, pull off to 5, and 7 to 6. Now I go to the B string and play 4 and 7 on the G. Again, down, up, so inside two strings. Then I'm on the B string, 5, pull off to 4 on the B. Then I'm actually gonna slide with my index, so I'm gonna change the position to here, okay? And then I'm doing um, 7 to 5 and then 8 to 7. Okay, so... And then again, go to the high E string, play 5, and on the B string, 8. Okay? And now comes the easy part. I'm always staying in this position and I'm basically just doing pull-offs and go chromatically up to 15th fret of the high A. So I'm um, doing a pull-off from 7 to 5, go 1 fret, pull off A to, um, A to 6 and then 9 to 7. You see like it's, it's, it's very simple. And then I'm just going to continue. You know, and on the 14th fret, I'm stopping and I'm doing a, a bend on the 15th fret to the 17th fret. Then I'm going to release the bend, do a pull off from 15 to 12, and then another um, full step bend on the 15th fret of the B. So. Yeah, that's the whole part. And then the actual solo starts. Okay, that's a very short, sweet little lick. I'm actually in E pentatonic, so the position is... I'm changing into the tapping position, so I'm starting uh, with my index finger on the 12th of the B, so I'm already in this position here. Now I'm gonna do uh, a hammer on with my tapping finger on the 15, go pull off to 12, Hammer on with my fretboard hand to 15, hammer on with my tapping finger to 17. So. And then I'm gonna do a pull off from 17 to 15 and from 15 to 12. Okay, so. And I'm gonna repeat this four times. And then. Another full step bend on the 15th fret of the B string. And you want to sound mean and aggressive. The solo section is basically challenging because it requires a lot of strength in your fingers. You're gonna to have to do a lot of hammer-ons and pull off at a very fast tempo. Uh, but it, he's basically combining just a few licks together and make it one huge out of it. So you need to think in little chunks to make it work. Um, I'm starting on a G and do a full step bend on 7th fret, then go to the high E and play 5, go to the B and play 8, pull off to 5, okay? <laughs> Then I go again to the G and play 7, full step bend. So on the 7th fret I do a full step bend. And then play 5 on the B with an upstroke and 5 on the high E with an upstroke. So two upstrokes in a row, okay? Alright. Uh, all together. That's basically the intro part. And then um, I'm going to play... This, so um, I'm actually still on a high E string and I'm 
play seven, then do a full a half step bend and release it and do a pull up to five. So then I'm gonna go to the A fret of the B, back to high E five. Then A fret of the B, full step bend. This time it's a full step bend, then release again and pull off to five. So it's the same thing that I just did on a high string, okay? Then I go to the G and play eight, go back to the B and five. Then again to G and play eight, seven, five and seven on the D. And I'm doing a pull off here from seven to five. So. Alright, and then I go back to the G and just go basically back up again. So G and I'm here, 5, 7, 8, and then go to the B and play 5, 8. Alright, so all together it looks like this. Okay, and I'm basically doing hammer-ons here, so I'm doing hammer-on from, you know. Um, okay, now starts the fast part, and the fast part is basically starting with this lick. Okay, you see it's a lot of hammer-ons and pull-offs, and not a lot of picking. I'm actually starting um, in this position, I'm always staying in this three notes per string position here. The only thing that is changing, I'm separating between the fifth fret of the high E and the fifth of the B. Okay, so. You get it, right? So, I'm starting on the fifth fret of the G and with a downstroke, do a hammer on to seven, hammer on to eight, and uh, then an upstroke on a high E string on five. So, upstroke, then again a downstroke on the G on the A fret, then pull off to seven, pull off to five. Then again, a hammer on to seven, hammer on to eight, and a high, uh, an upstroke on a fifth fret of the B. Go back again to the G, downstroke, and then on eight, and then pull off to seven, pull off to five, and hammer on to seven, hammer on to eight. All right, so. It might sound a bit confusing at all, but it's really simple. It's not, it's, it's just I'm, I'm doing down, hammer on, hammer on, then I'm gonna pick an upstroke. So I always wanna be outside the strings. So when I'm gonna, when I'm gonna do this part, I always wanna be outside the strings, and all the rest is basically hammer ons and pull offs, okay? So. And now comes another signature lick. Basically looks like this. Okay, this is um, not too difficult. So I'm actually starting with an upstroke because of the first lick, I end with a down. So now I start with an upstroke on the B, the fifth fret of the B, hammer on to seven, pull off back to five, and a down on the A fret of the G. Go to B and play five, with another upstroke and eight a downstroke. Okay. And then another upstroke uh, on the seventh fret of the B, a hammer on to eight, pull off back to seven, pull off back to five, and a down on the A fret of the G. So, all right. So all together, it's not that difficult. It's just you need to be very careful with the picking, okay? And um, doing the rest just just history basically. Okay, the next lick is another signature lick, and it's, it's very famous. So, okay. So I'm starting here on the on the G on the A fret. That's where I ended the lick before. Okay, so just to get the connection parts together for you, uh, I'm starting here on the A fret of the G with a down. 
Then I do, I'm doing an upstroke on the B on the fifth fret, hammer on to seven, hammer on to eight. Then go to the fifth fret of the high E with another upstroke. Okay, so down, up, up. I can do that because I have two hammer-ons in between. And then very fast, I'm gonna have to do another down on the B again, A fret, pull off to seven, pull off to five, and another down on the A fret of the G. So. All together. Um, and now comes basically the last part, which looks like this. Okay, so I'm, I'm jumping again to the high E string and do a downstroke on the A fret of the high E string, and then I'm gonna. Um, Another upstroke on the 7th fret, hammer on to 8, pull off back to 7, pull off to 5, so... And then go to the B and play 8, um, pull off to 7, pull off to 5. Go to G and play 8, pull off to 7, pull off to 5, so... And then on the 7th fret doing another full step bend on the G. And just adding a lot of vibrato, just too big vibrato, okay? So... I cannot guarantee your 100% of accuracy here compared to the original track. So, it's, it's, I just got this part together with my ears and it's what I think he plays. He might do a little bit different thing on some part. It's very difficult to, to hear it out. So I um, I'm hope I'm teaching you the right stuff, but um, for me it locks into the groove and it feels quite good, so that's the reason why I'm going to show you that way. I'm just doing three bends basically. Um, a fret, uh, 10th fret of the B, and do a full step bend to 12. So, and I'm just gonna have my index finger on a high e string on the 7th fret. Then move on to the 13th fret of the B and do a full step bend to 15. I'm having my index finger on the 10th fret of the high E, twice the time. And then um, I'm moving to the third position. I'm on 15 on the B and do a full step bend and my index is in the 12th for the high E string and just again two times. Okay, very simple. Then um, he's gonna change into B, ah, in, sorry, into G blues pentatonic. So, okay, and this one is basically not too difficult at all. I'm starting actually on the 18th fret of the of the B and I'm doing a full step bend. Then I go to the high E string and play 15. Go to the B and play 18 pull up to 15. And then go back again to the high E string and play a full step bend on the 18th fret of the high E string and then just 18. Okay, so far Now comes a little speeded up part. So I'm playing 15, hammer on to 18, pull off back to 15. Then you go to the B string and play 18, go back to the high E and play 15, go back to B and play 18, pull, pull off to 15. Go to the G and play 18, go back to the B and play 15. Then go back to the G and play 18, 17, 15, and 17 on the D. Alright, and the last one is actually again on the G string, and I'm playing the 19th fret, I'm doing a full step band and just very fast picking, okay? 
and, and just finish it with vibrato. So together. Staying in this position here, so on the B string, 15, 18, and doing hammer on pull off. Just you do just this, you know. And while you, you're gonna do that, I'm gonna get my pick into my middle finger and, and gonna actually um, just raise and just bend the B string, okay? So. And then I'm gonna play a 17 on the B, and then I'm gonna play this. Okay, so G string, uh, the 21 fret, go to B, play uh, 20, 22, go to high, play 20. And then I'm gonna do a full step bend on the 22 fret of the high string. So I'm starting here on the low E string doing straight alternate picking. So 5, 7, 8 and 5 on the A. Go back to the low E and play 7, 8, go to A and play 5, 7. Go back to the low E and play 8, then A and play 5, 7, 8. Now I'm moving up to this position and I'm playing 8 on the low E, 10, 12, go to the A and play 8. Go back to the A to the low E, play 10, 12, go to A, play 8, 10. Go back to the low E and play 12, go to the A string and play 8, 10, 12. Okay. Now I'm starting the whole thing again from the beginning. So just repeat it. And then I'm gonna do the same thing one octave higher. On the D string I'm playing 7, 9, 10 and 7 on the G. Then go back to the D and play 9, 10 and go to the G and play uh, 7, Nine. Go back to the D and play ten. Go to the G and play seven, nine, ten. Now moving in this in this position here again. So I'm having actually ten, twelve, fourteen on the D and ten on the G. Go back to the D and play twelve, fourteen. Go to the D and play ten, twelve. Go to the D again, play 14, go to the G and play 10, 12, 14. Okay, so. And now comes another part, because now I'm gonna repeat that whole thing another time. And then comes the finishing part. So the finishing part is basically here. Okay, still in A minor scale, and um, I'm actually on the 14th fret of the D. Go to to 15, 17, and uh, 14 on the G. Go to D again and play 15, 17. Go to G and play 14, 16. Then go to D again, play 17. Go to G, play 14, 16, 17. And then I'm just, I just go down three notes per string in the A minor scale. So um, 18, uh, sorry, 17 on G, 16, 14, then go to D and play 
1714. Go to the A and play 1715-14 and go to low E and play 1715-13-12. Okay. And then the main riff starts again. This is the ending of the song. So after the part we did before, so this triplets kind of thing, um, the main riff starts again, and you just play the main riff like we, we did in the beginning, and then um, you have this little part where he uses the airplane flanger just to go to to, to do that police siren kind of thing and just go crazy on guitar, and he plays the main riff one more time again. And then he goes into the ending part. And the ending part is basically very equal to the to the part we did before in the very beginning in the fill-in parts. Starting off like this. Okay, so open A, go to the D and play 7, pull up to 5, go to A, 7, pull up to 5, slide to 3 and another pull up to the open. Then quickly go to the G and playing 7, Pull up to 5, go to D, 7 pull up to 5, and go to A, 7 pull up to 5. Then go to the B string and play 8, pull up to 5, go to G, 7 pull up to 5, go to D, 7 pull up to 5. And go to the high E string and play 5, to the B, 8 pull up to 5, then um, G, 7 pull up to 5, uh, G7 pull up to 5 and eight, uh, A string 7 pull up to 5. So. And then again this. Um, okay, so C power chord and D power chord. I'm just gonna separate between. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, and then. Okay. Play this two, two more times, and finish it off with a big, huge A power chord. Okay, that's basically the ending. It's not too difficult and not too much of new stuff coming in here. So you should already be very familiar with that. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did, and I wish you good luck in practice. And if you got any questions, please ask me. I'm willing to answer everything possible everything i know if you got a better solution for any part let me know i'm looking forward